guys, it's Jeffrey Benson right here. I passed FTMO verification in seven trading days. So what I have to do right now is to wait for three extra days. As you all know, it has to take 10 minimum trading days before I can be moved to FTMO funded trader. So that's basically much it. And I'm super excited to announce this to you guys. And I just finished it today. And as you can see, the weather is super hot right here because it's 93 degrees Celsius and it's actually helping for my natural lighting to lighten up my video because I'm currently filming with my phone. All right. So as I said earlier, I'm a day trader. I just trade basically much. I trade for off my phone and my laptop right there. So what I do is I, I do my analysis on my laptop. Then I place my trade off of my phone. That's all I do. So it's no fancy big screen, nothing just like a common trader like you all right so this is a video this video is just is two in one to encourage you that yes you can do it with your small phone with just your support and resistance strategy and with a right money management right mindset then you are good to go any strategy at all can work for fcmo just make sure your strategy do not allow you to keep trade over the weekend then you will just be fine all those tra keeping trade over the weekend you are fine but once it comes to fcmo for trade that they practically frown at it so those are the things you have to work on and another thing again i want you to know is i'll be sharing the loss sizes that i use for a hundred thousand dollar account so if you're using a fifty thousand dollar account you can just split that into two and for 25 you can just do the same thing for ten thousand do the same thing like that so i'm going to be sharing this video in order to inspire you. so now that i'm going to become a funded trader by next week so by next week monday i should have my agreement signed i don't know if you want me to film the agreement signed the email they sent to me and uh, the content of the agreement drop a comment in the comment section and also drop a like for me in order to encourage us in creating more content for you all right so i'll just head to my screen right now to show you how i passed the trades i pick the loss sizes and the currency pairs that i trade remember the last time i told you guys that i'm only going to be trading two pairs which is euro usd and gbp usd my other account i lost about a thousand five hundred trading pound aussie so that's the reason why i'm not going to be trading pound aussie just trading two pairs i passed on that seven days so you two can do the same thing now here's my laptop screen so on the verification you can see i've got one and five thousand one hundred forty nine as of today so let's just head straight into the statistics okay here is my account number and everything you can look at the curve right here you can see i started on the 6th of april 2020 so and it's to end on the 4th of june so hundred thousand dollar admiral market and zero mt4 all right so the equity cover as of right now the equity is one hundred and five thousand one hundred and forty nine as i said earlier and the number of trades i placed i placed 35 trades 55.97 lots in total that got me that got me this result and the win ratio is 74.29 hmm that's pretty nice and the average profit is 331 the average loss is 386 that's not so nice average profit is supposed to outweigh my average loss yes i know about that then average risk to reward is also very poor which is 0 0.6 um, sorry 0 0.86 is too small and the expectancy is nice and profit factor is also very nice it's positive all right so looking at the curve you can see at first starting out i had some difficulty which brought me down to about 1000 it should be 1007 or so i was deep 1007 or 1003 there about all right so what happened was you know starting out in an account when it's about six figures with hundred thousand dollars and having and it dropped to like 99,000 or 98,000 something it it disturbs the mind disturbs psychology so pretty much what i just did was close the trade and i wait for the next day then i have my mind was refreshed then I kept on with my money management of risking 0.5 per trade and now i'm only allowed to have three trades to run at a time sometimes i only do two trades since i only trade two pairs i, I restrict myself to two pairs which is euro usd and gbp usd you are going to be seeing it on your account uh my trade my trading journal right here and then i don't have the problem with over trading so i was doing previous before now previously i was doing over trading so that's the reason why i have to bring out this law and habit to restrict me and it's really working well for me and i also advise you to do the same thing if you have an issue with over trading all right so back to our screen the trading account you can see from here then i had a leap moved up 
then I also have a dip right here it came that back down then before I have this massive win so you can see the minimum trading days I have right now is seven it's seven and it has to be ten days so the max daily loss I got to minus two thousand one hundred seventy five right and then the max loss on this one I have one minus one thousand seven hundred and ten so the profit target you can see I surpassed that with just 149 so 5149 that I currently have so all that ones are checked this one is left to be checked so this one will be checked on Friday then I have to place in 0 0.5 0 0.5 for three trading days in order for me to have 10 minimum of 10 trading days then I can move to FTMO trade as an FTMO trader so let's just look at the daily summary so when I started that you can see I lost 1228 then the next day I made it bad because this was where I had to go have some sleep, sleep over, and I only use 11 lots. Then the next day I use six lots, which is on the 7th of April. I'm trading five pairs. I'm sorry, trading five number of uh, having five trades rather. So you can see there. That's just it. So what I'll just be doing, I'll just place 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now I head into my trading journal. Remember I said I'm going to show you guys the lots that I use. So you have to pay close attention to the lot. Now, the common lot that I use is 1 standard, 1.5, 2 standard. So, it's always ranging from there. Those are the common ones. Though, there are times that I have to use 3.0 like what you can see right here on my screen. But, it's rare. Okay. So, my trading journal, you can see I only traded Euro USD, GBP USD, Euro USD, GBP USD. Alright. So, you can, you can just pay attention to the lot size. I use 3 standard lots right here. And, here is the trade the reason why I use 3 standard lot, I put a picture of the trade and how I trade so that you can also see what I do. Okay. Now look at this is a picture from trading view. You can see my trade right here. I jump on right up at this week, at this sorry, at this uh kind of bullish confirmation candle. Then this actually hit my take profit. I snapped this, that's midway in the trade. So it actually hit my take profit. I came out in profit so that's what you see right here i make 345 although i jump out pretty early 345 as, a, as, a, as, a, as of now it's still going up still it's still positive still going up so you can see there's no swap at all no swap that is i did not have any trade over the weekend so you can see 1.5 1.5 2.5 1 standard zero uh, one standard lot 0 0.5 0 0.5 so this is pretty how my lot work lot sizing what i do is if i have a trade setup and i'm very sure of this trade First, I'll have to enter with 1.0. So once it is going on in my favor, then I jump in with 1.0. Let's say I want to risk 1% or 5, 0.5%. So I have to split it into like 0.25 and 0.25 in two places. So once I'm already in profit with the first one I entered, I break even. So that is a risk-free trade for me. So that will not give me another edge for me to enter in another trade. So that one I entered, the first one I entered, I no longer count it as a trade that I'm in I'm, because I'm no longer risking anything. So I cannot enter that one. So that's why you see I have multiple entries sometimes. So as it is going, as it is, as it is approaching my take profit, I close them, all of them manually. So that's how sometimes I come out with huge profit. So that's the, just the trick. And that style is called dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging. You can just check that or you cannot check that on. Uh, on Google, then read more about dollar cost, uh, dollar cost averaging. All right, so that's that. Now let me move to the next day. I never had too much. The trades are not too much, as you can see right on my number of trades. I only have 35 trades, so it's not just, it's not much, not much. And I also added some screenshots. When I make huge wins, I add screenshots to it, so I see what I did there, so I can replicate it later in the future. So this is the graph. Right, so you can see that here. I entered barely on this week. Once it was coming in double bottom, I entered. Already I have a break of this trend line. Double bottom, I entered right there. So that's why, how I had 1000 1, almost $2,000 on this using just 2.5 lot size. So now let's go to the opening hour. The one, my open hour is always 12. Where I'm most active is 12. All right, you can see this. Then I placed more buy than sales. I make more money on buys. Then why I lost on sell trades. Then the volume I trade more is 2.5. You can see 2.5, 2 standard, 1, 1.5, 2.77. And that's just like that. And the symbol, just two symbols. GBP USD and Euro USD. On my challenge, GBP USD, 
was the pair I make most of my money. But right here, Euro USD is the pair I make most of my cash. So it just depends on market volatility and volume. So that's how everything works. So I believe you guys enjoyed this session. If you do, remember to subscribe, like, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. That will further help us in, 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 in creating more content for you, showing you the journey all ahead.